Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 21st video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of ServiceNow users and groups. I've shown you how you can create users and groups in ServiceNow and also like how you can add users in the group and also how, how you can make a group as a parent group, right? As you already know, this was a new section that we have started from the last video under ServiceNow, which is the user administration. So if you miss that video, guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen, right? So let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. Okay, so today we are going to learn about a very, very important concept, guys, which is ServiceNow roles. And make sure you watch the complete video, guys, because I'm going to explain you about roles first and then I'm going to go to the personal developer instance and I'll show you how you can assign roles in a group and also how you can create your custom roles and you can assign it. Right. So it would be very, very, very interesting, guys. So make sure you watch the complete video. Don't skip anywhere. OK, so let's start. OK, so roles. So roles are nothing but collection of permissions. So it is a collection of permissions which is assigned to a user or in a group to give a certain amount of access inside of the service now. So as you know, service now is a vast thing. So suppose you want in a particular group like service desk group or the agent support group, you just want to give them the access so that they can create incident. They can resolve incident, work on incident, change and problem, all this kind of stuff. So definitely you don't need to give those group the permission of whole service now, which is a administrative permission, which is an admin permission admin role you don't need to give that you only give that particular role which covers this incident change problem all this stuff right and that role name is the ITIL role we'll know more about it but for the understanding purpose you understand that roles are collection of permission you are giving permission to users to use certain section of the service now that's it okay that's all about roles Next, the roles are stored. All the list of the roles are stored under the sys user role table. We have also seen for the groups and user we have like sys user group, sys underscore user underscore group, and also sys underscore user, which was the name of the user table, right? So roles are assigned to in a group. So like I said, it's a best best practice to assign a roles in the group. So it contains other role. So a role contains also other role. Like for an example, a group can contain other group. You have seen parent and child group so in the same way role can also contain other role so once you assign a role to a user you'd be able to see like for example if you assign a user ideal role i'll show you in the role section you will have so many other roles also assigned because those roles are containing the ideal role all right and i'll show you uh, you'll get more better idea and we have many out of the box roles available in our personal developer instance so when you get your developer instance you will get these roles automatically in your you know pdi so now we will see some popular roles uh, which is out of the box in our developer instance. OK, so first role is the admin role. So it is one of the most powerful role available in service now. And with this role, you are almost controlling 95% of the whole service now instance guys. OK, so if you are an admin, that means you have control each and everything almost. So all of you who are watching right now and who are having the personal developer instance. So you know that you are logging in as a system administrator who has this admin role. That's why you're able to access each and everything inside of service now, right? So this role is popular admin role. And that's the reason also you make sure once giving this, assign this role to any other person, I'm talking about a real environment. So if you're assigning someone this role, if you're a system administrator, we have to make sure because once you assign this role, so this person will have the control over your service now, right? So you, so you should only give admin access to the person who are responsible for the system administrator for in your company, right? So next we have the security admin role guys, and this is an elevate role. So I'll show you while uh, in the next video when we will create the ACL or the access control list. So with this role, I mean like with only admin role, you won't be able to create access control list. I'll show you in the next video. Next, we have the ITIL role and this role is specially for the technician or the service desk people okay, who are dealing with the incident problem change. So with the help of the ITIL role, they can create incident change and problem, all this stuff, right? It is one of the most important role. Okay, so with the help of the impersonator role, that person would be eligible 
to you know impersonate other users you have seen impersonation in my last video also so with the help of the impersonation we can you know log in to another user so for that you need the impersonator role right next we have the knowledge admin role it is also powerful role for managing the knowledge base in the knowledge management section we'll explain about knowledge bases knowledge base and how you can create a knowledge article and all about knowledge management stuff right so that's the role that required to manage the knowledge bases so next we have the catalog admin and with the help of the catalog admin role you will have full control over the service catalog application so i'll show you we'll have a separate video for a service catalog so there you will see that this role will be required right catalog admin role and we have also asset with the help of asset role you would be able to see a lot of software and hardware different assets okay so these are the few roles guys now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to my personal developer instance and let's understand this role or let's visualize this role and let's work with the, this roles inside of the service now so get ready and let's go okay so right now i'm in my personal developer instance guys so to access roles table so what you can do is that you can search for roles here so under system security you can find the roles so if i click on that the roles module will come up also you can go for the you can go to the sys underscore user underscore role right dot list and you would be able to see the same page right and here you can see we have 437 out of the box roles available and we can see the role admin is here so let's open the admin role so you can see some descriptions are there like this roles has been access to all system features function data regardless of security constraints like i was discussing grant this privilege very carefully like i said that uh, because with this privilege role, they would be able to access anything, whoever you're going to access, right? So under this, we have some tab here and I'm going to discuss all of these things. So to understand these tabs and a role in a better way, let's go to the ITIL role. So I'll go to the ITIL role. Also, we have the ITIL admin one. So you can see with the help of the ITIL role, it's the standard actions for ITIL help desk technician, like I was talking, like service desk. This is out-of-box technician role can open, update, close, incident, problem, changes, configuration, management. So now if I scroll down here, first I can see contain role 19. So this ITIL role contains different other 19 roles. That means when I'm going to assign ITIL roles to a user, the user will have all this role. And not only this role, if I open any of the role, for an example, it's an incident right. You can see this role, what is doing? Write access to incident management application and related function. So you can create an incident or submit an incident for this role, for this work, this role is there. And you can see under this also, it is containing two other role. So this is how role, one role contains by other role, right? Now you will understand if I go back here, it is containing other different roles, okay? Now, if I go to the applications with role, that means, what are the applications that user is going to see after assigning this ITIL role that is defined here? Like you can see, user will be able to see service desk, incident, problem, change, configuration, all of these things. Service catalog, user would be able to see once the ITIL role will be assigned. What are the modules user is going to see? Modules means like these are the application like self-service, uh, app engine, availability. So these are the applications and the modules we have under each and every application. So what are the different modules that I'm going to have access? It is also written here. Okay. Now, great. Now, it might be confusing. You might be thinking, Pritam, okay, but not the concept is not clear until unless we see it or we do it practically. Let's do that. So you remember in the last video, we have created few users and two groups, sales group and the IT group, right? So let's apply the ITIL role there. So I will go to the all section, search for groups. I'll go to the groups under system security. Now here you can see I have these two groups, sales group and the IT group, right? So let's open these two group. And you can see IT group is a parent of the sales group, right? So let's go to the IT group and then apply something here. You can see under IT group, we have the sales group because it's the child group. Now under group member, I see Abel Tutor, Pritam Ganguly, Amelia. These three people are there, right? So let's, I'm going to impersonate now as Pritam Ganguly. So I'll log in as a Pritam Ganguly right now. And let's first see before assigning the role, what applications I have access with. Right now, if I click on Pritam Ganguly also, the profile, 
you can see there is no roles available here nothing is there right so back to my home page i'll click on my account and then i'm gonna choose impersonate another user and i'm gonna choose pritam ganguly i'm gonna click on impersonate now i logged in as a pritam ganguly right so now if i click on the all section to see what are the application i have access you can see i have access with very few application because pritam ganguly does not have any role so only self-service you know password reset vault product these are the things available okay now i'll end the impersonation right and let's go back to the it group so so i'm back to the it group under role section now i'm gonna click on edit to assign an existing role to this particular group so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna search the ITIL role these are the list of the role available on the left hand side so i'm gonna give this ITIL role i'm gonna click on save okay now i'm click on update here okay and let's go to the now i'm back to the sales group okay now this is a sales group let's go to the uh, history and then let's go to the it group where i have assigned the role and you can see under it group i have one role available and group members are pritam ganguly same members are there that role is has been applied now let's again impersonate with pritam and let's see if there is any changes because the it role is applicable now for pritam ganguly's account so now if i click on all section now i would be able to see, see we have things like incident problem change cmdb configuration service catalog so these are the things uh, pritam ganguly is able to see so because the itl role has been applied to the group uh, it group and pritam ganguly is one of the member of it group so pritam ganguly is able to see all these different applications which he is supposed to see after having this role right so now let's end the impersonation let's go back to the groups it groups and now not only pritam ganguly all of these three members have the access now if i scroll down you can see here 35 roles has been applied on pritam ganguly's account but you'd say pritam we only applied the itil rule from where other roles are coming like i said if i open the itil role you can see under itil role we have different other 19 roles which contain this thing so i've told you right once you assign this itil role all of this role has been assigned now let's see an interesting thing so this is for the it group it group i have applied it okay it's fine so let's go to the sales group and let's reload the form you can see there is some changes under the sales group also the it rule has been applied but how i did not apply it i applied it on the it group only now why it is applied because it group is the parent group for the sales group you can see sales group under sales group parent is it group because it is applied the role is applied to the it group the it role automatically the child group that is a sales group will inherit this role this permissions so that means now abraham lincoln or harry anguli both have the access to the itil both have access to itil role so let me show you so let me impersonate this time with Harry Ganguly. So Harry Ganguly is also would be able to create incident problem and change, right? So if I go to the all section, you can see Harry access the incident from, change from, problem, each and everything, and he can create, right? Isn't it interesting, guys? So you have understood also the use of the parent group and child group so in my last video i have discussed about it but i did not mention like in scenarios where you can use so right now i have given you the practical example where you can use right so this is enough for applying the roles these are all the roles you can apply and practice it in your home now let's create a custom roles right so okay first i need to end the impersonation definitely harry does not have the access for the role he is only having the access for the itl and you see with the help of roles how you can restrict access to a particular person so based on their role based on their job uh, you should give them access okay so i'll go to the role section now here i can create on the new button and i can create roles it is very simple so let's create a role like demo test that's it i'm gonna click on submit let's see demo demo test now if i open that 
so this is the role now how we can add this role to any any table right so that would be discussed in the next session guys when i will explain about the acl so we will see how these roles are so important and how acl is connected to the roles like i said user groups acl roles these are all connected with each other guys okay so that's the reason you have to watch all the videos to understand so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and you have learned some new thing so if you find it helpful guys make sure you hit the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people so see you in my next video guys bye bye take care